You're now listening to CB Radio. 105.3 Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to CB Radio. It's your main man, Alex. And this is the place where you're going to hear the newest jams that you never heard before and some of the most unique perspectives that you've probably never heard before. So let's go ahead and jump into the show. But first, let's hop over to the weather with Jiggy Jones. All right. Thank you, Alex. This is Jiggy Jones with your weather report on the ones. Today, it's going to be a little bit cold out there. I hope you have a coat because if you don't, you might freeze when you walk outside. Also, your nipples might get a little bit hard when you step outside the door. So you might want to grab that jacket and that's your weather report on the ones with jiggy jones all right thanks a lot jiggy now let's go ahead and jump into some new music to start this show off right this is young pete featuring past tense canon I shoot a nigga, he dead. I'm a monster. Pop up right under that nigga bed. Then I see red. I'm a monster. Huh. Smoke on that nigga dread. Pop the cannon on your block. block. Tell the cannon in my sock. Tell the cannon like I'm sick as hell. Throw the cannon chicken pop. Bitch, I'm rich. I ain't talking nick. When I talk the cannon, talking shit. You a bitch. Please don't make me pop my cannon. Have a snitch. Get a stitch. But around me, they get the cannon. Way I'm blowing through these hoes like a nigga. Get the cannon. Get the cannon. Big shots, little shots, shit em up. Big shots, little shots, I don't give a fuck. Big shots, little shots, shit em up. Big shots, little shots, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I'm rich, I ain't talking nick. When I told the can, talking shit, you a bitch. Please don't make me pop my cannon. Every snitch, get a stitch. But around me, they get the cannon. Way I'm blowing through these hoes like a nigga. Get the cannon, get the cannon. Alright, that was Young Pete featuring Past Tense. The song was called Cannon. It's another one of those songs where they go, I can't make that noise. I don't know how they make their mouth move that fast. It's really cool. But anyways, let's go into our first segment of the morning. Now today, I brought these guys that you guys might really like. These guys have a podcast on the internet called Strong and Clean. And every time they post, they get like millions and millions of views. And I don't understand if it's just because they're so controversial or because everybody really loves them. So I decided to bring them in today so you guys can call in and ask them questions to see what's really on their brain. So everybody, welcome to the booth. Kyle and Steven from Clean and Strong Podcast. What's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, Alex, uh, thanks for inviting us on the show. Everything's good. How, how about things with you? Well, everything's always good with me, but people don't want to hear about me. They want to hear about you. So let's talk about you guys. Now, you guys got a podcast, and it's super popular. Everybody always tunes in. It's actually competing with Joe Rogan's podcast. How did you guys get so popular? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, oh, I'll, I'll take this one. Okay. I, I think there's a lot of men out there that are looking for a role model, and I think that if we continue to teach them how to deal with women that are out of pocket, then they'll look up to us as role models. Okay, I think that makes sense. So you're telling me that your audience is like losers um, and you guys like are their role models. So what makes you so qualified to be the role models of all these losers? Uh, Alex, don't call our audience losers. They're not losers. They're just men that have lost their way. Yeah, and we we just like have been through so much in our lives that we are qualified to share our experiences with our audience so that they don't have to go through the same bullshit that we've gone through. Oh, can I say that on the radio? <laughs> yeah, you're good, man. Um, Actually, the phone lines are really blowing up right now. It seems like a lot of our callers want to talk to you guys. So let's go ahead and open up the phone lines and get some of these callers to ask the questions and pick your brains. Caller number one, you're on the air with Clean and Strong. Yo, what's up, guys? My girlfriend this morning cooked me some breakfast, and she knows that I don't like bacon, but usually she puts sausage on the plate, but this morning she put bacon on there. Do you think there's something, like, she's probably like cheating on me or something like that, right, you know? Yeah, you got to watch a woman's routine. Now, if she automatically switches up her routine on you, that probably insinuates that she is seeing another man. Like, women like to do the same thing every single day. So if they do something different, then that does mean that she's probably cheating on you, and you need to go find another bitch. I mean, that sounds like a reasonable plan. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Caller number two, you're on the air with Clean and Strong. Hey, guys, uh... Hey, it's this Brian. Um, I really like this girl in my my uh, calculus class, but I, I don't want to be a simp for her, and I, I don't know 
if I should like show her attention because she she always like says hey and stuff like that to me and and I I don't know what to do. Is she pretty? I mean, sh- she's pretty cute. Like I like her. Man, you can't really be a simp for these girls out here. You understand? They're gonna take advantage of you, and they'll take everything that you have. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a simp back in my day, but then I, I, I rose to the occasion, and, and, I, and I, got, I got some balls under me, and I was like, I'm not simping for these girls anymore, because they're going to simp for me. You understand? I don't give them any attention. And you know what? They don't give me attention back, but that's how I like it, and that's how it should be. I really appreciate that a lot, guys. Hope you guys have a good day. All right, we've got time for one more caller. Last caller, you're on the air with Strong and Clean Podcast. You guys, you guys are hypocrites. You made me lose the love of my life. I told her to get out of my life because she got me something that I didn't want. She got me a PS4 when I asked for PS5. And you guys ruined my life. I hate you so much. Hey, man, just chill. Like, uh, we probably did you a favor there. Honestly, if she got you a PS4, do you really think that she actually loves you when you ask for a PS5? Now, I I don't understand. Maybe you're not like a top G like us, but, you know, I would drop a bitch instantly if she got me a PS4, if I asked for a PS5. You understand? So I don't get why you're mad at us. You just, just, just roll with it, guy. You guys suck. I hate everything that you do. You are fucking pussies. Hey, man, like, if you really want to talk all greasy like that, you can pull up, you know, we're, we're not scared to do whatever. We could shoot the ones or, you know, you could catch the fate or whatever you want to do. So just pull up. You understand? I understand. I'm on the way. Okay. Um, that was uh, caller, last caller. Guys, uh, you probably want to be real safe when you're walking out to your cars. But everybody, that was clean and strong. These guys have a popular podcast. I don't know if you're into that kind of stuff. But if you are, that's them. Thanks for coming to the studio, guys. You know, have a safe day and a safe walk to your cars out there. Watch out for, oh, he's probably coming for real. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a hey, hey, hey. I just be hitting switches. I just be riding and riding the niggas and I be into the trenches. I just be shooting the shoes. I just be looking for stupid. I just be striding around with the hell. I'm getting I'm gonna jump up in the shell. I'm gonna just do a deal. You got the trip in the cell. I bet that you wouldn't tell. I'm gonna just sit in the cell. I bet you be looking for beers. I bet you be hiding the back of the stem and I pick in the switchy pants. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a home that can hold me down. I'm just looking for a hey, 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 hey. That's my ad lib, Latrell. Anyways, that was Latrell and Poopa Shell on their new track called Hold Me Down. That one was pretty fire. But, you know, anything that Poopa Shell gets on is fire. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into the next segment of the day. In this segment, I think that you guys are going to really, really enjoy. And I know that I'm going to enjoy it because we're bringing on Mr. Kim. Everybody, welcome Mr. Kim to the show. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be back here, Aris, with you again. Yeah, the pleasure's all mine, Mr. Kim. We just really like you here on this show. And today, we wanted to ask you some really cool questions because we know that you got all the answers. So, Mr. Kim, today, I really wanted to know, what is a woman? Because apparently, everybody's debating about this. And I thought I already knew what one was. Like, my girlfriend, my wife, she's a woman. Uh, I don't know. Uh, And by the way, those are the same girl. Uh, Just to let you guys know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. In the Western world, when life get too easy, society make a problem. Now they don't know what a woman is when it's very simple. Nature, you can see, is a male and a female. 
See, that's why I brought you on the show, Mr. Kim. You always come with those answers that just, mm, they hit you in the feels, right? Well, you know, <laughs> the phone lines are blowing up again. This is the most phone calls we've gotten. This is the second guest of the day. But anyways, I think people want to talk to you about this subject, and I guess there's some people out there that really want to express themselves and say what they think a woman is. Caller number one, you're on the air with Mr. Kim. Hey, yeah, uh, literally... This is so insensitive because yeah, I, I get it, Mr. Kim, your like your oriental background or whatever, everything was like traditional over there, but this is America and we're very accepting over here. Uh, religious freedom, sexual orientation, there's uh, not just two genders, but you can identify however you feel. And I, I just think he's just like, I don't know, this is not oh, meant for radio. This yeah, is just yeah, been, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. See, you say you're very accepting, but you make a fun of my background. You're not accepting of my values, okay? I, Mr. Kim, I love all people. I just to tell the truth. There are two gender. You came from a two gender. You came from a woman with a vagina. Yeah. All right. Thank you, caller. Next caller, you on the air with Mr. Kim. Yeah. I, I know, I know I don't get some flack for this, but I have to side with Mr. Kim on this. And, uh, you know, I grew up in the textbooks. They told us 23 chromosomes from the male and 23 chromosomes from the female. And I, I, I agree, it's the only two genders, but they're talking all this crazy nonsense now, trying to confuse the children. Yeah. Confusion is the trick of enemy, but stay strong. Yeah. All right, we've got time for one more caller here with Mr. Kim. Oh my God, I think I recognize this hey, number. Hey, Alex. Uh, hey, hey, this is Molly, and I just wanted to talk to Mr. Kim because I wanted to let him know sincerely from the heart that you know all the things that he was saying makes me feel offended. And I just wanted to say that to him because I am offended. Thank you, and have a nice day. Oh, yeah. Everybody nowadays so offended. All they need is love. That's right. You guys heard it first from Mr. Kim himself. He said all we need is love. So I guess we're going to be loving each other out there. But in the meantime, let's listen to a new track. Get him, DJ. Buzz it. Buzz it. Buzz it, 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 buzz it. I wanna bust them up, bust them up. I wanna bust them down, bust them down. I wanna get the money, get the money. Bitch, I'ma wear the crown. Bitch, I'm a king, king. And you are not, and you are not. Bitch, I am cool, cool, cool. You just a snot, snot, snot. Uh, bitch, bitch, bust it. Open like a water, like a water. Bust it open like a cantaloupe. Then I'm down and down. Bust it like a snitch head when I bust them open. I bust it like a fucking soda can and now I'm smoking. Bust it, 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 when you take your shirt off, do women laugh? <laughs> well, it's time for some macho, macho, macho. All you gotta do is take a little jab in your upper shoulder, and then you're gonna get macho, macho, macho. It's kind of like the COVID vaccine. If you took that, you could take this, and then you'll get macho, macho, macho. All you gotta do is call 1-800-MACHO, MACHO, MACHO, and then you'll be macho, macho, macho. So you a poster, right? You got the number? She ain't hit you back. Don't worry, fam. I got you. Just take my course. It's a no-cost online masterclass on how to give Riz. You'll be him. You know, Hemi Neutron. Hemi Turner. You feel me? Just go to rizofoz.com and subscribe today, man. Get your life in check. Holla. Is it finger licking? Me, daddy got me. Do you love chicken? Me, daddy got me. We got the hot sauce. Big Daddy got me. Where you gonna come to eat, girl? Big Daddy got me. Come on down to Big Daddy's. We gonna get you right. Yup. 
get right or you're going to get left. Come down here, folks. Get these deals down at Ted Sanderson's Automotive. We got cars. We've got trucks. We got whatever you need, man. Come on down here. Get off the couch. If you're not satisfied, I'll buy you a house. If you're not satisfied in your new ride, I'll give you five. Come down here to Ted Sanderson's Automotive. That's Ted Sanderson's Automotive down here on Menosphere Road. Ted Sanderson Automotive. Coming this June. A fight that you've never seen. Balls. Yeah. That's, right. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of them. Men. Yeah. Lots of them. Yeah, all right. Balls and men. Yeah, yeah. take that. Hey, 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 welcome back to CB Radio. And I don't know really who's going to go see that movie this weekend, but I know that I'm not going to see Balls and Men. I've got my own balls to look at. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into some other stuff. I've got some guests coming through this booth this morning. It's going to be really cool because, you know, I always bring guests through the booth. Uh, these guys, man, let me tell you about them. They're rich, they're famous, they're brothers, they're tall, they fight. They're cool. They've been on reality shows. They got Bugatti's. Oh my gosh! I can't wait to talk to these guys. So, with no further ado, the Late Brothers. Welcome to the show, Late Brothers. Good afternoon, Alex. Okay, Tommy, what's going on? I, I thought you and your brother were going to be here. What's what's up with that? Oh yeah, I'm late, but I'm not apologizing because that's a woman thing. A woman thing, eh? Uh, I kind of figured you guys be late because your name. But anyways, why are you so popular? Why do people like you so much? Because we just brought these other guys on the show, and they are kind of popular too. But they, they're they not as popular as you guys. They actually look up to you guys. So what what's, makes you guys different from them? Well, them and days, I'm, I'm not really a fan of that, like, the pronoun game. But, you know... I, I, I can't we're, remember the clown's name. It was like Strong and Clean or something like that. What, what makes you guys more popular than Strong and Clean? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I didn't realize that was what you were saying. But, yeah. See, the difference between me and my brother and Strong and Clean is they argue with women. And that's something that we do not do. That's weak. That's powerless. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like you're really answering my questions thoroughly, so maybe you would do better if the callers asked you questions, because our phone lines are going off the hook. They're, they're kind of burning up. You see the smoke over there? Yeah, that's for you guys. So let's go ahead and get some callers, and you know we're not going to let that many in, but we're just going to select a random few to talk to you guys, because we know that everybody wants to talk to you. So let's get it going. Caller number one, you're on the air with the Leak Brothers. You know I like you, motherfuckers. Y'all don't take no shit. Uh, I appreciate that. You know, in, the, in this world of confusion. Because right whoa, now, whoa. everybody seems to be Whoa, perplexed. whoa, brother, brother, calm down. You're going to have to change your tone when you're talking to us. Motherfucker, do you know who you're talking to, motherfucker? I'm from this shit, motherfucker. I'm from motherfucker. Okay, that got a little bit violent. Uh, let's go ahead and move to the next caller there. Caller number two, you're on the air with the Late Brothers. Um, hey, I, uh, really didn't want to just, like, jump into this, but, you know, you guys are just spreading hate, man, and it's not cool, like, I, I'm, All right, next you're, caller. Like, I'm not trying next, to judge you or nothing, but next it's just, caller. Like, hey, hey, next hey, caller. hey, 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 next hey, caller. hey, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Late, this is my show. I say next caller. That's my line, you know? I, I respect you guys, you gotta respect me and the guests, you know? So, uh, next caller. <laughs> now, next caller, you're on the air with the Late Brothers. Hey, thanks a lot, Alex. I'm a gender studies professor at DCPC College, and I have a, a, a very good perspective, a very unique perspective that I want to lay on the Late Brothers. So, hey, Late Brothers, how you guys doing? My perspective is this. You guys are misogynistic. You're separating the men and the women in our society when really we need unity and everybody should be free to choose and everybody should be free to do what they want. And you're making it so that it's, I don't know, the best word I can explain it as is toxic. Listen, Alex, I didn't sign up to be here to be interrogated. 
I thought you were bringing us on your show to talk about ideas of value. Well, actually, I was bringing you on my show because people wanted to talk to you. So if you're not with that, then you can show your way out. <laughs> we don't need your show, Alex. Uh, understand something. My time here is valuable to you. You understand? We, we have a platform bigger than this show could ever be. I'm doing you a favor. Well... Uh, I appreciate that favor. Um, we actually got another caller on the line. Caller number four. You're on the line with the Late Brothers. Uh, what's going on, Alex? Uh, I don't agree with a lot of the things and ideas I've heard today. However, if all Americans can come together, just come together and men can do to what women do and women can do what men do just as fine and we'd all work together and it is gonna be a better place what is this that i'm hearing this is haram alex i'm leaving your show all right guys you heard it here first tommy late leaving the show early but it's okay because i don't know who really set us up with all these guests today uh, see you later tommy have a good day and all that yeah i don't know who set us up with all these guests today but it seems like they're all talking about red pill this and blue pill this i feel like i'm in the matrix anyways let's go matrix. ahead and jump into some new music in the here we go yeah i think i got a short home cut me up in headphones yeah no no keep it rolling i like this yeah yeah oh Red pill, blue pill, pill. wait, 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 nah. wait, 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 wait. I got wait. new skills, Ooh. grits and eggs and bacon. Yeah, yeah. it's on my mind. On my I mind. eat it in the morning. Yeah, the morning. I'm one of a kind. Yeah. Hello, got my homie Tyler. Yeah. It helped uh, me out. Finish this first off. Hey. You know what he's just talking yeah. about. Okay. Uh, red pill, blue pill, you give a fuck about nah. that shit. I'm, I'm getting, getting money yeah. on that green pill. Yeah. Try to stack up yeah. my chips. Yeah. Try to play with me, you know I got that thing right on my hip. On got my a hip. red dot on your forehead. When it shoot, you know they dip. Uh, red pill, blue pill. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. I got new skills, yeah. grits and exit bacon. Yeah. Always on my mind. On my if mind. you ain't talking money, hey. I ain't got yeah. the time. Uh, now, to move on, we're going to go ahead and bring another guest to him. This day is filled with guests, guys. This guy, he is really exciting. It's not like the other guests that we had. This guy, he is a professional athlete. And when I say athlete, I mean a race car driver. He's done the Indy 500. He's done the Daytona. He's done every race car track that you can imagine. But now, he pledges all of his time to help kids learn how to drive in driver's ed. So let's go ahead and welcome onto the show... Axel Wang. Welcome to the show, Axel. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm glad to be here on the show. I've driven all kinds of cars. Uh, Indy cars, F1 cars, drift car. Hell, I drive anything. They let me get a dump truck one on. I'd get that along too. Yeah, I believe you. You're a really phenomenal race car driver. And I just had a question for you because this was on my mind this morning. So I was thinking, how come I don't see a lot of women race car drivers? There's like, you know, there's a few out there like Danica Patrick, but there's not a lot. So just tell me why I don't see that many. Or do you have an opinion on it? Just let us know. Well, you got one in every bunch that's going to sprout out and do something. Might have that depth perception. And uh, can handle the, really handle the wheel. There's only a few that can do it. But uh, as far as as far as them racing with the guys, I I think that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, yeah, I guess it's fine that the women are racing and whatnot. But you are a driver's ed teacher, so you get to see them early. So tell me about the experiences when women are behind the wheel when you're driving around. Because, you know, there's a little joke out there that women can't really drive. And I want to talk to a real race car driver to see if that's true. Now, what I'm going to tell you is I've been on all kinds of tracks, been in all kinds of cars, GTM, everything. Even been on the Nurburgring. The Nurburgring. You heard of the Nurburgring, right? Well, yeah. I've been around that thing. Over 180 miles an hour. Right into cement wall. And I tell you, that put the fear of God in me. I don't mind teaching, teaching women to drive and everything, but it's just a problem out here where maybe they just didn't have such a great driving structure like me because I, I, I turn out champions. That's all I do is turn out champions.
You guys heard it here first. Axel Wang bangs. This guy turns out champions. But we're trying to get him to his next race. So if you guys want to donate, go ahead and send your um, cash apps to Axel Wang. That's Axel Wang. And he's going to get some money. So thanks for coming on the show, Axel. Really loved you here, man. Uh, your perspectives were really unique. And it taught me a lot about not wanting to ride with women. Thanks a lot, dude. In other news, we just got word that Smooth and Clean Podcast just got in an altercation outside in the parking lot, and it wasn't successful for them. But you guys got to look that up on the internet for yourselves. I just wanted to be the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I just let it out. But that's going to wrap up our show for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, we got some new music coming in the next show. I need to get some sleep. I am tired. Thanks for all the guests. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you choose the red pill or the blue pill. Alex out.